We're here at the USA Science and Engineering Festival, and I'm sitting with Jeff Lieberman, artist and engineer. What about, you spoke about the MIT Media Lab. This is, you know, for those that might not be aware, it's this mecca of technology and design. Talk a bit about your experience there and how can students possibly learn more about the work that's being done there? Um, there's so much work being done there, it's hard to narrow down sometimes. Um, there's probably about 25 or so professors that all have grad students programs and they're all working on different things. And the, the one unifying factor is that it's kind of anti-disciplinary, that these things don't fit really easily into a category that exists somewhere else at the school. And so this lab got created that's combining, you know, some art, some science, some engineering, and some technology, and saying, well, what are all the things that this can do where there's not a mechanical engineering department for it yet? And, you know, as I said before, my path was robotics, but there's people working on new forms of visual technologies, there's people working on how music can help people with autism, there's, there's so many different directions it can go. Um, and that was where I started really freeing myself to letting myself go of how I could combine these worlds myself. I was really interested in these low-level physics phenomena like electromagnetism and feedback systems, levitation, all that kind of stuff. And, you know, the first art pieces that I really made that were hitting home for me were when I was doing extremely technical work to translate those physical principles into something that was totally emotional, where someone didn't have to know any of the details, but they walk up to you know, a machine, for example, that's playing music in a way that a human being could never play. And so there's this feeling of mental silence. There's a feeling of, of wonder, well, hopefully, ideally, if it works. Definitely with kids there is, where they walk up to this machine, and it's doing something that goes beyond their expectations. And that's when your mind gets quiet and is, is open to new things. And that's always been something that I've come back to. And, it's changed in a lot of forms. We talked earlier about the, an LCD sculpture that I was working on for the Raleigh, uh, the North Carolina Museum of Natural Science in Raleigh. Uh, and that's just another case where there's this great physical principle, liquid crystals. Everyone knows on their old calculator they have those little segment, seven segment displays. And we pulled that out and we said, well, let's make some magic with this. Let's make a 100 foot long transparent display that you can selectively make these transparent pieces of glass turn opaque. And what can you do with that? And so then it turned into this, you know, kind of musing on how we abstract patterns from nature, how not only science is about the abstraction of patterns from nature, but also how the mind, you know, I look at you and I'm receiving 50 million pixels of information, but I see a person. That's something that's a high level pattern that I'm detecting. And humans do this so often that we don't even think about that process. So, the, you know, these pieces kind of, they're all organic. There's looking at the kind of cool technologies that I think could be shared in emotional ways. There's looking at the principles of perception and humanity and all these things kind of tie them into one another. Hmm. I'm sitting with Jeff Lieberman. Jeff is, I would say, an artistic engineer. Okay. Can we say that? An sure. artist and engineer. Uh, here at the USA Science and Engineering Festival. You can hear more of what Jeff has to say as well as the other engineering and science celebrities here at the festival on engineering.com.